Hello everyone, welcome back to this new daisy guide video. Today I'll show you some ways or workarounds to fix your daisy editor issues. And I'll go over some comments that I had on my two recent videos I made of this daisy editor series. If you are interested in watching them, links will be down in the description. But for today, look into the issues and bugs and workarounds to fix your daisy editor. So first things first, the first comment that I get a lot on one of my Daisy Editor videos is that Daisy Editor crashes a lot. Unfortunately, you cannot always avoid this, but there's a way where you can reduce this problem. So if we go, if you can't find your interface, by the way, if you're stuck in this camera, you can't find your interface, you press Y on your keyboard, press space to, to show your cursor, then click on editor, go to preference, general, and it might be that two, these two are all the way up. This means that your viewing distance is going to be like very far and your object is going to be loading in very far as well. The more you reduce them down, the less objects there's going to be or the less view distance there's going to be. Depending on your PC, you can tweak the settings to your liking. And this might fix your issue with it crashing all the time. Another way to fix your daisy energy crash problems is to open the taskbar Go to details, type in daisy, find daisy 64 xe click left mouse button set priority to high. This will make, sh make sure that the processor gives this the highest priority. This will make sure it will run a lot smoother. Another question I get a lot is, can I use daisy editor online? Unfortunately, you can only use it offline, but there is a mod called CF or community online tools. The link will be down in the description as well as the daisy mod and the guide that shows you how to install it and set it up and stuff. It will do probably like mostly the same, but you cannot do certain stuff as you can do in daisy editor. Like you cannot add any blur or you cannot really change the FOV. But you can fly around and film stuff, make players do stuff, change the weather, change the time, spot in objects. Like that's stuff you also can do with CF and that's as the name says, it's for data servers and online. It's also what they use to manage servers. Now is the next issue, which there's an easy way to work around with. Let's say you have a character, you spawn him in on the ground here. Uh, first got to control it to load him in. Sometimes it does crash, can't do much about it, it does happen at times. But the problem is, if you press home, you go back to your camera. The problem is that you cannot dress up your character. If you click left mouse button on your character and you go to edit inventory, um, it doesn't show your mouse. Now you might be wondering, well, I'm stuck in here now. How do I get back out of this interface? If you press one or if you just press the letter on your keyboard, it will go and show your character in its full glory. And this will put you out of the search bar. Then if you press home, or not home, backspace, no, escape. If you press escape, you go back into your free cam. But how do we dress up our character now? So simply, we can just search for any clothing in the search bar. Let's say we want to give him a sweater and we want to give them hunting pants where are you oh wait that's not yeah that's, that is a thing why do i not cargo then the one yeah the thing the problem is is that it takes a bit longer to find but if you know the name of the clothing you just click on it you select the item click right but button again and it will place it on the ground if we go control character again It'll be on the ground and we can just control the character as you normally would if you play Daisy. Um, and that way we can just undress ourselves, put on the new clothing, and there you go. You got your character dressed up. It's a bit of a workaround, but it does the trick. One more important thing to say is that if you're working inside a Daisy Editor, make sure to not tap out of Daisy Editor. You'll be stuck in, in a certain interface and you won't be able to get out anymore. I think those are all the issues that I know and how to fix them. Let me know if you have any more issues. Maybe I can make another part. Maybe I can show you another work way around it. Um, or help each other out in the comments if you have any experience with Daisy Editor yourself and if you know some ways to fix it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe. If you like guide videos such as this one or adventure videos or shorts, also you can catch me live four or five times a week here on YouTube or on Twitch. Links will be down in the description. And with that, 
I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.